people are listening and sometimes it's hard to to realize that until you actually put something out there and you hear all these people respond and it's like magical I started my art Instagram fairly recently. I started it the fall of 2015. After I had made the uh, Healing is Not Linear piece, which is like by far the most popular one that I have, it just like blew up. And seeing people's responses and seeing how intimately and intensely people were connecting with my art, it just really motivated me to make more of those because Seeing this, this embrace of softness and fragility and sensitivity, and I think that's something that we very much need right now, especially sort of in a culture of internet trolling and calling people oversensitive and making fun of people who need safe spaces. I mean, seeing people embrace that need for safety and for being personal very much inspired me to continue to make the Affirmation series. Many of the people in my pieces look like me. I do that on purpose. I, I like the idea of inserting myself in my art. Of course, there are some that the people look nothing like me because I really value representation. So there's a lot of pieces uh, where I've included body types and ethnicities and physical disabilities that I don't have, but that I want people to be able to see so that they can see themselves in my art just as much as I see myself in my art. I think just the ability of having such immediate access to people is a form of power that artists of color and artists of just several marginalized identities never had before. I mean, as we've seen from mainstream arts, art scenes, it's predominantly white and male and hetero and cisgender. And so we've seen this sort of um, intense surplus of uh, young artists of color and young queer artists. and feminist artists who um, have sort of taken social media by storm and produced all this art that is just getting out there and again like immediately getting into people's uh, lives because of how uh, interconnected social media sort of um, makes us. <laughs> I feel like a life of me not doing this, it wouldn't actually be me in that life. Um, I can't separate myself from those things that I love and the, the art that I create. There is, there's no, there's no taking that out of me. So it, it's just, it's, I guess as natural as breathing.